Masters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. This is awesome. Uh, come on, parlez-vous. We're going over to Paris. What's happening? Hey, Tom. It's Adam from Paris. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, Adam. Yourself? That's good. Long time no talk. I appreciate everything you've done for me and my family over the years. So well, We appreciate uh, you growling on problem with us. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I've done gold reports and all the softwares and all your books and read it. Generational thank you. you are, seminars, thank so you so much. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down 54, NASDAQ's up 22, S&P's up 4. Gold, gold contract down four, up four dollars and forty cents, traded at two thousand twenty nine an ounce. We have silver down twelve cents, twenty five dollars eighty cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck seventy seven, seventy three dollars eleven cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten year note, trading down sixteen ticks at one fifteen oh seven. The thirty year down a full point plus two ticks at one twenty nine twenty nine. And king dollar, king dollar up one hundred and sixty ticks, trading one hundred one three seventy four. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 135, and the British pound is at 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. What do we have? Well, let me bring up the SPY first. So, you had a big day on Friday. That being said, the bottom line is that, you know, you still are not at the highs. Uh, Friday, what we did do is that you had the price spread, but you didn't get the expansion of volume. So this is going to get really intriguing in here because what we did is that we did the 87 million shares. And that 87 million is actually going against the, the good, what is that, 101 million. It's going to be a toss up here. That's the real bottom line. What we have out here today, you get light volume out here today. You get a sideways move out here today, too, though. Right now, we've only done 38 million shares. And yet, well, uh, now, let's take a look at the future. I brought this up when I was just doing the update. Now, this is really cool because you don't, you don't, you don't see something come back just this, this fast. We'll see how this shakes out. But what we do have is this. Now you get a high volume low that's laying out here like a monster, 41.37. We came down 17 S&P points in about a hot, yeah, literally a hot, yeah, like 30 seconds. Now, it took, it only took 20 minutes to get all the way back topside. Bottom line, you got back topside. Now you're under the high. So the probability is once we get under this high, we're right, we're, let's see, the, the top of that range was right where we are now, 41.54. If we... Let's say you get to 41.52.50, bottom line, the probability goes up dramatically. You're going to go after that high, and there's plenty of time to, I mean, that high volume low, and there's plenty of time to go after that high volume low before we close today. NQs. We take a look at the NQs out here. Same type of setup inside the NQs. Did the same thing. Just came out of nowhere. Boom. But it's something to keep your head wrapped around also, folks, okay? The move and the NQs, as well as the S&P, now the NQs haven't got back inside that bar yet. But when you get moves like that, that's an indication that we still have a bear that's happening out here. Because what happens is this, is that when you get moves that come out of nowhere and go down, that's a bear. When you get moves that come out of nowhere and go up, you get, you're in, inside a bull. That's how it works. That's just, that's, that's just how it is. So that move right there... You know, I'm sure that the computer's got hold of something, meaning 
out in the web, and then they decide that, up. Oh, that's right, we're wrong about this one, but guess what? That high volume low is going to get tested. Gold, we look at the gold market out here. We have with gold, gold's in an ABC structure up. You know, took out the B point, took it out with volume. Now you get a complex one because we came under the B point again. Bottom line, gold's going to continue higher. And now this is where it gets, gets dicey because, well, first let me go to the 10-year. Because the 10-year, the Fed might, you know, well, the Fed has been going up. But the 10-year, you can see we made, it, we made it to the top of the range. And the 10-year is looking like an ABC structure on the way up. Because what we did have is this. Is that you can see on Friday, you back down with 1.2 million. Today, you're only backing down with 827,000. And then we hit a high with 1 you know, 2.1 million contracts. So you're coming into those highs with 2.1 million contracts. That is saying higher price, lower yield. And then we go over to the gold contract, I mean the uh, dollar, and this is the tricky one for sure. The dollar, you know, has been at these lows for quite some time now. And it's keep, it keeps rejecting price, keeps rejecting lower price. And, you know, like when you look at it slightly, it's like, okay, you know, we do have higher lows, but just barely. <laughs> um, so we'll see where this shakes out. We're, we, we're at 101.372 right now. We went to 101.041, and hey, we'll see how it shakes out, man. And the danger is going to be in, you know, breaking out those lows, you know. So we'll see how it shakes out. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, and today's not going to be a high volume day at all. You have uh, Tesla's up a, a buck. We have Advanced Micro up five and a half dollars. You got Kavana, that's moving out here. It's pretty wild. It's up two and a half dollars. NVIDIA is up uh, $4.50. Let's go look at NVIDIA. Tyson Foods is down $10. I guess we need, I'm not eating chicken anymore. NVDA. Let's go take a look at NVDA for a second here. Okay, so that's at another high. Tyson, we go to Tyson. See what happened here. This thing is dropping 10 bucks. That dropped out of bed. Well, this has been dropping out of bed for quite some time. This is, you're talking about from, this stock has got cut in half. They got something wrong with this stock. Look at that. Look, oh my God. So this is going after high volume. If you want to see high volume lows, how they go after them, this is amazing, man. Every time I see this, folks, it blows my mind. Even though, you know, now I'm going on like almost 25 years since I wrote my first book. But these high volume lows, man, they go after them. And you can see, you know, we're only, it's at 42, it's $8 away from it now. And this is an equity that, that you had the consolidation. It got all the way up to, after the high volume low, it got all the way up to 100 bucks, and the high volume low is 42. <laughs> How about that? Now that's insane, no doubt. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow, Dow's down 62, NASDAQ's up 14, S&P's are up one and a half. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com 
TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 71. Nasdaq's up 9. S&P is a flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rose, as we do each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve does an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also, has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under Featured Content. You just hit that little button. You hit Subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Steve has a huge amount of information that he sends out to subscribers each and every day. Come over to TFNN, you want to feature content, and hit that button. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Good hockey. In well, South congratulations. Florida. I know. Uh, listen, <laughs> man, it's it's a beautiful thing. There's no doubt, it, man. I, I can't believe that both the Lightning and the Bruins are out, but it is what it is, man. That's that's. And and that Florida played so well when we were up in Toronto, and then yesterday's game, uh, that overtime goal. I don't know if you caught that. I did. I did. Yeah. That, the, that passing behind the net there was that not was that great? unbelievable? I know, man. I mean, like. I those guys forechecking and digging that puck out and back and what a great that was a great play that was. And a lot of people i just think didn't really pay much attention to it but that was a great play it was man Two right in <laughs> uh great. It was a great 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 games and what's nice is that uh, florida's off uh well and toronto too but they don't play their next game until wednesday yes so it's nice to have, as you know, yep. you're playing that game. It's nice to have an extra 24 hours Huge. worth of uh, recuperation Huge. time. So, you know, you mentioned that there was some unusual activity that we saw, uh, you know, maybe an uh, hour ago, half an hour ago. Yes. Or so in the market. So we're actually going to talk about a little bit of uh, unusual activity or some patterns that, that it happens, but it doesn't happen often. So the first thing, though, that I thought that we would start with is this is a chart of the S&P 500 for the last 95 years. OK. And this shows this shows the seasonal pattern in a pre-election year. Yeah. So we can see how it goes back. So we have, I believe, there's like 22 or 23 instances of this. And the red vertical line tells us where we're at today. So that red vertical line suggests that we should see a top form by tomorrow. So fairly timely. That's if this pattern is the one that is in play out here. 
When I take a look at the daily S&P and the ES mini charts, so we've got them side by side, left hand side is the ES mini. You can sort of see these blue diagonal lines. What these are representing are the A to B equals CD pattern. And for me, an A to B equals CD pattern is completed when they get a bullish reversal candle. Well, in each case, they had a three river evening star pattern up at the highs. The S&P cash index also has a wave number seven, just a portion of the uh, Chapman wave tools out here. So we've got sell the D point patterns that are already in place. And what we have is we have prices traded up into resistance. So one of the tools that I share with subscribers is the oscillator and change line. I refer to it as OUL. And here that can act as a real key level of support or resistance. And so we've seen that the rally, even the rally on Friday, strong rally, but landed and stopped right at that resistance level. So we've got instruments that are up at resistance right now. When I looked at the 60 minute equity future charts, this was maybe about uh, 45 minutes ago or so, um, the NQ, the Dow and the Russell 2000. So there's another pattern that I treat that I teach uh, folks a TD nine count pattern. And each of those has a TD nine count top. Now, no levels of support have been broken or no level of support had been broken when I had uh, grabbed this chart out here. When I look at the other, and so what I what here we say that the ES Mini is supposed to top like tomorrow. It typically what we will see is some kind of intraday topping signal, but I don't have it for the ES Mini. I've got it for the other three. In looking at the other intraday charts here, Tom, for the ES Mini, so I've got a five hour, a four hour, two hour, there's a 60 minute, the 30, 15, and the 10. What I didn't have at the time of posting this is any kind of a topping pattern. So nothing was present for the ES Mini. When I take a look at market breadth, so market breadth, there's a couple different ways to look at it. One is looking at the advanced decline oscillator, not referring to that here. Here, what I'm taking a look at is by use of the task market profiles, we can identify whether a market for a specific time frame is uh, market breadth uh, bullish or market breadth bearish. Here, what we have is we have speed dials and we take a look at the S&P 500. It's bearish for its weekly, its daily and its 60 minute time frame. But the four hour time frame, it was still in a bullish setting. So we don't have consistency here. But three of the four are in bearish settings. When I take a look at the spot fix index, it remains below its 50 day exponential moving average. That's this little blue line in the top panel here. Yes. And generally speaking, Tom, that is bullish for the S&P 500. So if I've got people scratching their heads right now, because that, that was, even though it's not a picture of me, that was me after putting together those first several slides, I get it. But <laughs> let's see it. if, <laughs> let's see if we, because you know, like, well, are you bullish or bearish, Steve? Totally, so, yeah. no, right? no, listen, man, I know, right? I know. Uh. So let's see if we can clear things up here. So this is the daily chart for the ES Mini. And what I have on here, folks, are their daily and their weekly profiles. Now, with the profile levels represented, the bottom is where buyers are located. At the top is where sellers are located. In the center is where both buyers and sellers believe there's fair value with inside that range. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn price off because we're really going to understand what these market profiles are signaling to us. So this is the exact same chart we we're looking at for the daily time frame for the ES Mini, but without price. Notice how this new profile here, this formed on Friday, Tom, notice how this new profile wraps around the prior profile. When you start taking a look at all the other ES Mini daily profiles that we've got out here, you don't see this very often. It just doesn't happen that okay. often. And when it does happen, the message is one of consolidation. So we've been in a consolidation. We've been moving sideways here. This is signaling to us that we should expect the consolidation pattern to continue, maybe even more odd moves like what we saw today. Now, we don't stop there. Here we've got the same chart, but what I've thrown on here are the weekly profile levels. Turns out that there is a new profile that is forming this week. So these are the little thin green lines out here. And this profile is with inside the prior profile. This too. So we have both on the daily and the weekly market profile signals that suggest that we are in a consolidation. That's intriguing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So now what people didn't get catch or should or likely didn't catch is where's resistance right for us it's all about support and resistance and we've got a number of different tools that can help us do that here what i'm sharing with folks are the taz market profiles it turns out if you take a look at these red arrows up here okay both the top of the weekly and the top of the daily are at 42.06.25 okay. we know where significant resistance is so if these consolidations are going to be broken we will see price close above the 42.0625 level. So, folks, regardless of the patterns that we have out here, it really is always going to always be about support and resistance. And if you take out one, take out resistance, you should head higher. You look for other, you know, possible levels or, or patterns that might be present. But what we so we know that 42.0625 is really key resistance. So we began today 
with a review of the seasonal charts that suggested that a top should form very soon. However, that top here should really only last for about a week. And then we should continue on with this little sideways move. So perhaps what that means is that price for the ES mini is going to head down to the bottom of the consolidation, or what I would say would be the range of between 4051, Tom, and 4076. And all I'm using there is I've got the consolidation pattern drawn in, but I'm using the bottom of those profile levels where we have buyers that are hanging out. For the S&P cash index, Tom, that would take us down to about the 40, 48 type uh, level out there. And uh, so I think we're just in a consolidating market. That is at least the message of the TAS market profiles. And folks, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right under featured content. Mastering probability. You hit that button. You are off to the races. And you're going to be happy that you did, folks. Steve, you have a great one. Safe Thanks, one. Tom. And uh, we got some good hockey coming up, man. Unreal. You bet. You Unreal. Bet. Okay, Take man. Care. Have a great you one. Bet. Have a safe one. Look forward to the show tomorrow, Steve. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 77. Nasdaq's up 8. S&P's are down. Uh, they're down. They're flat. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at uh, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow out here. So point-wise out here, you have uh, Disney putting 16 positive points, Walmart putting six, uh, American Express putting four, taken away from it. 
Home Depot, minus 16, Amgen minus 14, Microsoft minus 14. No, no big moves, really. Inside the NDX 100, what do we have inside the NDX? Percentage-wise, this is what you have. You have Zscale, oh, ooh, look at that, up 19.5%, 20%. .5%, CrowdStrike's up 7.5%, AMD's up 5.5%, Airbnb's up 5.5%. Take it away from it. Modern is down 4, Sirius Satellite is off 3, and Cognizant Technology is off 2. Let's go to Z. I got to see the Z scale and see this is just off a of bottom or what. Let's see. So Z scale, uh, yeah, it's off a of bottom. Okay. So the low is 84, the high is 194. This has been a one way trip on the way down. Um, but let's see. Yeah, they had strong sales. Um, it would make sense. I mean, well, not that it makes sense. I'm just saying that in six months, the stock went from 141 down of, uh, what is it, 84. Last couple of days, it went up a little. You're going to pop. And if you want to see something here, you can, you can see. Now, it's taken out a small swing point, but where it did pop, it just, it just popped right to where the last time... Had the volume on the way down. Go take a, let's go take a look at uh, Amazon. Well, actually, let's take a look at Disney. Oh, so Disney's got, it's up 240. Uh, it doesn't have enough juice for an ABC up. What I think what may happen here, we'll see what happens here on a weekly. So Disney, you want to keep your eye on because... What happens here on, on the daily, you don't have it. But what Disney does have, Disney has a high volume spike at 118. That will get tested. And what you have now on a weekly is that it's trying to get over, well, it got over the price point, meaning the 102.56. But what it would need is 43 million shares traded in the week. Now, it can get that pretty easy. It's not getting it on the daily today because there's only 8 million. Um, but on a weekly, that could get it. And if that's what you get, you're going to go to that next level up and at least test that high volume low, which is not bad. It's 15 bucks above where we are right now. Let's go to Google and take a look at Google because Google's getting challenged with this chat BGT, GBT. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Google's up today, $1.70. Now, that's a really light volume, though. You're up, uh, you only have volume out here of 12 million shares. You're going into the last... You go into a 19 million deal. You know, this will be hard to take this thing down, but uh, it's something to keep your eye on because what is happening is that if you've been using that, the chat GBT at all or any other AI out there, folks, you'll catch yourself that you start using it more and more. I was using, um, I was Googling something, right? I say even Googling, but yet I was on G chat GBT. Because what happens is that Depending what you're looking for, the chat GBT will definitely give you a much better explanation without having to Google two or three levels down. What ends up happening is that you, you, you AI it once, and then you prompt it again. And it seems like when you get that second prompt in there, you, you, you're basically getting what you're looking for. So that was a first in my case. You know what I mean? But I says, okay, that's going to make a difference because if you're asking um, different questions that you have a clue on, but you're not quite sure of the aspect of it, it works really well. You know, I, I suspect where something is going to be, you're not going to know if it's telling you factually or not, is that something you actually know nothing about? You know, then you don't know. But it's pretty cool. I mean, um, having a, a type of explanation that it throws out, and it throws it out like in 30 seconds. So, save you quite a bit of time, there's no doubt about that. Silver, let's go take a look at the silver market out here. So, so gold's doing an ABC structure up. Gave it up in price, pulled back, but has high volume. Silver really hasn't given it up. Silver is staying at these highs. <clears throat> Gonna need more volume, there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, but bottom line, you know, we'll, we'll see where this uh, baby wants to take us. Now, you know, if you're listening last week, we had one of our Tigers, Carlos, call. And this is a huge heads up for the, sil for the silver market more than the gold market, folks. And the reason I'm saying that is that in the silver belt in New Mexico, in Mexico, not New Mexico, in Mexico, 
um, <coughs> there's a huge amount of minors. And I was going over the, the law that he was telling us about. And so what the law is, is that they're going to pull back leases from 50 years to 30 years. That's one of the things. They're going to put a 5% tax on the mines. But if you have an exploration stock in Mexico, a silver exploration stock, right? You, it might have already got smoked, but if it hasn't got smoked yet, I suggest you get out of it. Because this, this is how the rule reads now. The rule reads that, so what ends up happening is that many miners, okay, the bottom line, exploration places in particular, they will go in, they'll take, they'll, they'll raise, you know, three to five million dollars, nothing heavy, because it's hard to raise money. In this area, it's probably easy to raise money, but it's been hard to raise money since 2011 in the mining sector. But let's just say you're raising five million. You go in, you think you know where there's a nice exploration play in Mexico and on a silver mine. Well, you go in, you get the rights to it, right? Well, the way the new law is going to be is that you only have two years to start spending money on that. Folks, it's almost impossible. That's the bottom line. So the ones that are in place, which are, you know, mostly the Canadian stocks, because that's where the risk equities are, it's going to be a huge problem. Now, that's, that's the downside. The upside of this is that, guess what? You know, all, all you silver bulls out there, that is telling me that I can, I can definitely see why, you know, if there's less supply, which there will be, and the demand's not going to slow down, um, I can see how you can start getting some juice behind this, um, behind this law in particular. You know, because that's... One of the equities, and I was trying to figure out why this was just stalling. This was one of the strongest equities out here. Now, I know, uh, let's see, um, not McEwen. Um, Jesus, one second. Yeah. How did I just do this? Mag, Mag Silver, that's what it is, Mag Silver. Mag Silver. So, Mag Silver was just a monster. I mean, and this this company, you know, they really did it up right. I mean, you know, this was an exploration stock, just a picture. So they just went from two years ago, they took in nothing. This year, they're taking in 482 million, okay? And when you look at the chart, it's like, okay, man, you know, the bottom line is that, you know, they're having a tough time. Now, I suspect what, it's, what it is, it has going to have to do with, you know, 5% tax. It's going to have to do with the leasing structure, and I'm going to try to get the, the CEO on and talk to him about this so he can get a nice understanding about how, you know, this is going to affect folks on a longer-term basis. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 57, NASDAQ is up 15, S&P is up 2.5, we'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Directions Daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading on 50. You get the Nasdaq up on 19. S&Ps are up four. Now, it's going to be interesting to tomorrow trading, folks, because what is going to happen is that you're going to have the McCarthy and the White House are getting together tomorrow, and we'll see whether they come out with a statement when the market's opened. Uh, but we're, we're going to be, this is all going to be about the debt structure going right up to June 1st. So we'll see how this is, the whole thing's going to shake out. But it, it'll throw, well, I'll give you my personal opinion. None of us know what's going to happen. I guarantee you there's going to be volatility in, in the market right up until the day not only that it happens, but sometime in June. That's what I suspect. And that's a long way when we're talking the market. <laughs> it's only May, uh, was it May 8th, right? Yeah. Um, you know, so that's how, it, that's how it shakes down. You know, the bottom line is that, you know, they, you know, and most times what ends up happening, if we, if we follow the 2011 debt structure, um, what tends to happen is that Nothing will happen till the market goes down a thousand points, and then all of a sudden, yeah, what happens? Because the fact of the matter is, you know, they're supposed to be representatives of the people. So the bottom line is that if the market's getting croaked, and everyone's IRA just loses, you know, so much more money, well, guess what? They got to do something because they're getting so many calls. It, that's how it seems to shake out every single time, and that's what it blows my mind that you actually can have um, a just a small amount of people that are actually you know, that have gathered so much power, um, particularly in um, something like this, meaning that, you know, we've already spent the money. This is not like saying, okay, I'm gonna go spend money. This is saying that, okay, we're gonna pay our bills. So we'll find out where it goes, man. But uh, trading wise, it's gonna set up some great trades. That's, that's the reality. We go take a look at, let's go, to, let's go take a look at the GDX out here, which is all the gold equities. We take a look at the GDX and the GDX uh, bottom line came into its last swing point, came in with good volume last week. And I, you know, there's no doubt the, the gold trade is still a little bit tricky. That being said, what, you know, when I was doing the gold report today, there is a lot of ABC up structures, confirmed ABC stru up structures inside of the gold market. So it's set up nice, man. You know, even in the GDX, you take a look at this GDX, look at this. We came into the highs, well, let's see, we hit, we hit 34, no, 35.25, and 35.10, yeah, I mean, this is an ABC up, so your B point is 36, your A, yeah, it's about 9.8 to B, which is going to get you 42, and 42, 41.60 is your next high. So this is, a, this is a confirmed ABC up. We, we, we took it out with volume. We took it out with volume. So, you know, it's not doing much right now, but the bottom line is it did take it out, as did, you know, many of them. You get an ABC, I believe, an Eco Eagle. That took it out in spades, yeah. An Eco Eagle took it out. 
uh, FNV. What was FNV? FNV might have been a weekly. When you're doing these, if you if you hear me say one of them, put them on weeklies, also. Yeah, FNV's an ABC up too. That's a big one, man. Now here, this is really cool about FNV because this is saying it's going to actually go break its all-time high. Yeah, it is. So this ABC, watch this. Now the all-time high on FNV is at 169. We're at 159. And then you put this on the weekly, and this is a big ABC up. We, we, on a weekly basis, we got it on the weekly out. Yeah, we did one, we did three, 3.4 million, taking out one point, no, taking out 2.6 million. The B point on this is 158. The A point is 127. Well, 127. You're talking about 31 points, which gets you up to the 180. So when you see something like this, what happens, particularly in the streamers, folks, okay, is that the streamers normally lead the actual metal market. So at Franco Nevada, confirming an ABC structure on the way up, your probability is that the gold contract will continue higher. Now, this is where the trip comes in. In order for the gold contract to continue higher, this dollar basically would have to break down. You know, so that's, that's the part that's going to be intriguing. And yes, we had a question about uh, AU. AU's in a monster, too. That's an ABC up also. AU, let's... Harmony was, too. Harmony is, too. AU. I mean, this did it in spades. You put these on a weekly, too. Yeah, look at this, man. See, two different things happen. You get a high volume high anyway at 38. You're at 28. You can see it blew it away. We took out the B point. The B point on this baby is uh, 28. The A point is 16, so you get 12 bucks. The C point is 25, so 30, 37, right? And the high up there is 38. You can see the volume. I mean, that's a huge spike. We did uh, 19 million. No. Yeah, 19 million versus 10. No, versus. Oh, hold it. No, that's just 20. Yeah. So we just missed it, actually. We just missed it. Mm, interesting. Uh, let's see, what else was out there? So, so to get back to the silver plus minus, uh, silver and gold, when you're going into any of these equities that are in Mexico, I guess you got to do a little more work in the context of, number one, how long have they had the lease in place? Are the leases coming up? And what is 5% of the profits? Well, it's going to get intriguing is that the way it's written it looks to me like it says 5% of the profits. So it's going to be like, <laughs> if it's 5% of the profits, this is going to be like doing a motion picture. <laughs> you know, the, you, there's been so many suits in the motion picture business as to what a profit is versus what the gross is. You know, you always want the structure on the gross numbers, not the profits, because you can do a million different things and put a million different expenses inside of that structure to come down to the point of what the profit is. And I, I, don't, I don't think that'll be any different. Let's go take a look at Apple. Apple come out with his numbers last week. Got a little pop out here. Still up. You know, this is right at its highs. This is, this is, you know, Steve Rose was talking about a consolidation. You know, Apple's been in a consolidation now going back almost two and a half years. Yeah, I mean, it started in uh, September of 2021, still in that consolidation. You know, when you actually look at Apple, now this is what's kind of scary, actually. When you actually look at Apple, Apple has three lower highs and three lower lows. Now, three lower highs and three lower lows is what? It's a downtrend, even though it's up. 
Stay right there, folks, and come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up uh, down 65, NASDAQ up 21, S&P's up 3. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now, Dow 63, the Nasdaq's up 21, S&P's uh, up 3. Now, something to keep in mind, this is going to be kind of cool, actually, so if we don't hit this high volume low before the close out here, folks, okay, that is still in play all night if you trade the futures and tomorrow inside of the equity market, okay? That's how that shakes out. You can see it's sticking out like a sore thumb, man. So that's something to keep in mind in the morning, you know? And the future of traders, I'm sure they're, they're cognizant of it. And the daytime, once the market opens, if you trade the SPY, be cognizant of it because that's... that's that is always sweet when something hangs out there like that because, yes, it can go down there and reject it, but it'll go down there and test it. That's the bottom line. And, you know, we'll see whether it may test it, you know, in the middle of the night in the futures market. If it does, and in fact, when I'm saying this, you have to make sure that it didn't, check, it didn't test it in the middle of the night in the futures market because if it did test it, then it doesn't have to test it in the SPY during the normal trading hours from 9.30 to 4. That's how the thing shakes out. Um, let's go over to Harmony. I was talking about ABC structures on the way up. Harmony was the same deal. It's another ABC up. We put this into a weekly. 
You're going to see, I mean, that's, that's a really start, big sign of strength. Hominy took it out really nice. So that's, that's we're at 528, Hominy's on his way to $7 and change. That's a big number. You've been consolidating for a long period of time. And I suspect, you know, that has to do with two different things. That you have the RAND that's still trading out there at 18 RAND dollars to one U.S. dollar. And, you know, the South Africans, folks, mining companies, they take out millions of ounces, not thousands of ounces of gold, millions. It's just that what ends up happening is that the price is very close to what the price of gold actually is. You know, but as that price of gold goes higher, well, now you're going to talk some real money. Because millions times $100 is what? Millions. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Yeah, look at him, folks.